Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for rocking with me so far. Let's continue the journey this week with the newest release from the house of Roja Parfums. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the much talked about this review is gonna be on Roja Apex. All right, folks, like I said, this is a new release. This came out in 2022, earlier this year. The nose behind the fragrance is, of course, the incomparable Roja Dove. And for the notes of the fragrance, now there are a lot of notes in this fragrance. I'm gonna try to get through this list within the half hour, um, but we all know Roja puts a lot of ingredients in his fragrances, so. Let's go from the top. We have orange, mandarin orange, bergamot, lemon. In the, mid, in the mid, we have pineapple, jasmine, and cistus. And in the base, here's where it gets voluminous. Leather, balsam fir, patchouli, cypress, tobacco, rum, ambergris, galbanum, elemi resin, amber, oak moss, juniper berries, cashmere wood, sandalwood, labdanum, musk, benzoin, and olibanum. There is a lot going on in this bottle, and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, sizes and prices. This is a 100 ml bottle. This is going to run you 265 pounds if you're across the pond. If you're here in the States, that translates into $330 USD. Now, before we go any further and dive into the review, I just have to say, full transparency, Roja Parfums did send me this bottle of Apex for my review. So yes, this is a gifted bottle. As you guys know, all opinions are my own. I do not give favorable reviews for product. I will never do that. I never will do that. You guys have my full transparency and my full honesty in these reviews. However, I do have to give credit to Roja Parfums for sending me this bottle of Apex for my review. Now, from the description of the company, and I am going to read this description verbatim because I don't want to get it wrong and I want to give credit to the company. Uh, the description says, El Apex celebrates the natural wonders of the world and all who roam it. Apex is a fresh, fruity shebra with spiritual and sensual undertones. With all that information out of the way, folks, let's get to how it smells. It is my scent of the day. I am going to give you a fresh spray on this sample card here. Bing bong. Atomizer is very, very nice. It is very, very, very green on first spray. If you don't like green fragrances, you need to stay away from this one. It is a very green fragrance. It's also very bright and very, very masculine. This is, this is bringing me back, y'all. This is bringing me back to the powerhouse fragrances of the 80s and 90s. Yo, this is, this is strong. This is absolutely strong. Um, you would wear this to an 80s throwback party uh, with one of those fluorescent shirts or neon shirts, buttoned up shirts, and you'd have those two buttons on the top unbuttoned and your hairy chest would be hanging out. Absolutely. Um, if you know or remember the TV show Miami Vice, this is exactly what Philip Michael Thomas, I believe he played uh, Crockett if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the comments. But this is exactly what he would smell like driving uh, the streets of Miami at night. Uh, this is absolutely something that will be worn in the 80s. This is like, whoo, this is bringing me back. Trust me, bringing me back to that good old time where you didn't have to reapply a fragrance. One or two sprays would get you going throughout the day. Now, with that being said, this is not going to be, I repeat, and let me say loud and clear, this is not going to be a mass appealing fragrance. This is a fragrance for uh, the older gentlemen uh, that appreciate more barbershop fougere type scents uh, that may have an older type vibe. This is a gentlemanly, stately, more masculine type vibe. This is not gonna be a mass appealing 
panty dropper that you know so many people are used to this is not that scent however it can be appreciated for the artistry and the creativity that it puts out and actually the memories of the 1980s which i believe is the best decade don't get me wrong um that i believe it's bringing me back to but don't get me wrong folks this is not going to be your mass appealing fragrance so just so you know if you are 30 and under you may not get this you may not get this. You may be able to appreciate it a little bit, but I don't think you're gonna have a full appreciation for this fragrance. The 40 and over crowd like myself, yeah, we can rock with this because we know exactly what we wore in the 80s and 90s, how it made us feel, you know, how strong it was. This is definitely bringing me back to those wonder days that I absolutely love. Also, if you are a man of a certain age, maybe 50s, 60s, and you remember Albert Anastasia in New York, um, and you know all that, all the turmoil that came with that, this is Albert Anastasia in his heyday, in his heyday, uh, sitting in a barber chair, getting the full shave treatment, you know, before he got whacked. I'm just saying, before, this is before the end. Um, but this is in his heyday. This is a fragrance that he would have worn proudly walking the streets of New York with his crew. Um, I get the amber and the tobacco, which makes for a little sweeter experience about 30 minutes in. It's not fully in the base for me, but it's about 30, uh, 30 minutes in. Um, like I said before, this harkens back to the good old days of fragrance where they were just powerhouses. They would knock you out. They would punch you in the face. Um, you didn't have to reapply them at all because one or two sprays would get you throughout the whole day. This is exactly what Apex does. One or two sprays is going to last you nine hours plus. I'm not joking, y'all. If you overspray this, you may not like the experience. Of it. The ambergris for me comes in the base of the fragrance and I can absolutely smell it in the base of the fragrance. Um, it gives me actually an aquatic feel to the fragrance. Um, so while this fragrance is mainly green, it is 98% green, I do get an aquatic vibe, sort of like I'm possibly swimming in the uh, lakes of Ireland or fishing in Ireland while people play bagpipes in the mountains. I get that dual picture in my mind as well. So the ambergris does lend for a bit of an aquatic feel, at least on my skin, I don't know what your experience is going to be, but on my skin, I get a little bit of an aquatic feel as well from the ambergris. There is one thing that I don't like about the bottle, though, family. And I have to be completely honest, okay? I know it was a gifted bottle. I know I didn't pay for it. So I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to get some hate in the comments. However, if you are going to pay your hard-earned money for Roja Parfums, and it, this is just my opinion, just my opinion. I don't like the font. I don't like this font right here. This reminds me of Axe Body Spray. And if you're gonna pay your hard earned dollars for Roja Parfums, $330 for Roja Parfums, do you want to be reminded of Axe Body Spray every time you look at this bottle? I don't know. Now, if you happen to like Axe Body Spray back in the day or you like it now, cool you're probably okay with that it it bugs me it bugs me i'm sorry i'm nitpicky i know i got the free bottle you're gonna say i ah, why should you care why should i care because i'm a reviewer i'm a content creator and you have to know my true honest feelings about whatever i review so my true honest feelings i like the bottle except for the font i'm being a nitpicker that's just what it is all in all, minus the font, do I think Roja Apex is a good fragrance? Yes, I do. I do. I think it's a good fragrance. I think it's going to appeal to collectors. I think it's going to appeal to Roja lovers. I think it's going to appeal to um, fragrance fanatics. Do I think it's going to appeal to the masses? No, I do not. I don't think the masses out there who are into their Blue de Chanel's and their Dior Sauvages are going to get this fragrance. I do see somewhat of a similarity to Dior Sauvage. I think it has that 
uh, tingy vibe to it, if I can be so bold. I don't know, it's not the same fragrance, obviously, but I do see a similarity. Um, but I don't think the mass uh, audience out there is going to get Roja Apex uh, like we will, like you will, uh, watching this video. Uh, so do I think it's a mass appealer? No, I do not. I think it's good to have in your collection if you're a Roja fan, if you're a collector, if you're a connoisseur of fragrance, absolutely go out and get a sample of this. I know it's a heavy lift, uh, so take that into consideration as well. You get what you get with my channel. What can I tell you? All right, folks, that's my time. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for Roja, to Roja Parfums for providing this bottle of Apex for my review. As you guys know, I said it before, I'll say it again. All opinions are my own. I do not give favorable reviews for product. That's my time. Go down below, like and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.